Hello, I'm going to be going over some commonly asked questions about the Civ Builder website. So if you've got the flags working and the text working, but when you start the game, it seems that you're playing with the Britons or the Franks, that's because you don't have the data mod active. The UI mod doesn't actually affect the gameplay at all. What changes it is the data mod, and you'll want to activate it before every single game. The same goes for multiplayer lobbies. You can choose the data mod you play the game with. Now, if you've got the data mod working and you've got the Civ flags showing up, but the languages, like if it says Britons or Franks and this other text isn't showing up, that's because your game is in a different language or your Windows is in a different language and it's trying to read a different language file. So to change that, you can go into your, uh, your extracted UI mod and then go to resources and in here there will be an EN and inside that will be key value modded strings UTF-8. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is change the EN to whatever language you're using, whether that's Spanish, um, German, or, or whatever language code is here. Note that you can also just regenerate the mod and it'll have all of these files present, um, but if like Spirit of the Laws mod or other mods that were generated before uh, won't work, because they were generated before this fix was implemented. Uh, the next is, if you're having troubles with the ageofempires.com website, or you just want to play with the AI and you don't want to publish your mod and it's just like a test or something, there is an option to locally use the mod folder um, and you don't, have to, you don't have to publish your mod publicly. So to do that, you're going to want to go to your downloaded, uh, downloaded zip file, extract it, and inside there's the data zip and the UI zip. This time you do want to extract the data, the, the data.zip as well as the UI.zip. And once that's done, you'll take these two folders and copy them into this directory. And instead of 15037, it will be your username, and this long number will just be some other long number. So yeah, once you paste both those folders in here, your game will have those mods installed, and it should show up, if you go to mods, it should show up in installed mods as well as my mods, because they're your local mods. However, you can't start a multiplayer game with these local mods. So yeah, going on, um, a lot of people were noticing that if they have their game, if they have their custom sieve, but they play with another sieve using that same mod, like the Aztecs or something, those Aztecs will have knights, or if the Turks will have eagles or elephants. And that's because every time it generates the mod, it clears the bonuses of all factions. Um, to add back the vanilla civilizations, you're going to want to go to the website and download the JSON files of all of those vanilla civilizations. Someone went through and created all of them, which was really nice. And if you go to this thing and you extract it, you'll see that these are all the vanilla civilizations, the JSON files for the civil, vanilla civilizations in the game. So when you're combining civs, just include the vanilla civs you want to generate alongside. Note that every Note that these civilizations are, aren't really created, but overwrite the existing civilizations, which means that you can only have 37 total JSON files when you're combining civs. Also, um, people were asking that the, they can't change the languages of the game, like they load up the game with their civilization, but they're speaking Old English or they're speaking the French language lines. Um, that's because I haven't implemented yet. I will implement it soon. But um, that's because it's overriding those civs, and those civs haven't changed the languages. So thank you for all the support. It really means a lot to me, and I'll be continually updating it, which you can check on the updates page. I plan to make unique units and unique texts, as well as just overall quality of life improvements. So yeah, enjoy.